Hi folks, how you doing? Russell, TrueResults303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Once again, when you're at the website, sign up for the free newsletter. Got free downloads there for you, setting goals, fitness, and nutrition. Don't forget to follow us on social media, TrueResults303, no E, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Podcast is out there as well, so go ahead and check that out and join there. Uh, send a review, put a review on there if you're on iTunes. Uh, all major podcast players, it should be. Coming at you today with a video on how to or what foods prevent cancer, help prevent cancer, help fight cancer. So I've made a video before based on this book. If you want to get the book, I'd say go for it. There's more information than what I'm sharing. I'm just sharing some of the, the top information, you know, the top or most valuable information in the book that I think anyways. You know, everybody's going to have their own point of view on, on what's um, valuable and important than someone else. So he's got a five-step plan on fighting or preventing cancer, which I laid out. I made a video on. I've got a vi there's a video on should you do uh, chemotherapy or radiation, and then certain blood tests that you can ask for that's going to target and get an understanding of the exact cancer because he says a lot of the cancers, you know, they give you a drug that just treats a wide variety versus they do have cancer drugs that will target a specific cancer instead of giving you that wide variety. Uh, medication okay so here we go his breakdown cancer defenders um, this one number one green tea contains high level of catechins catechins c-a-t-e-c-h-i-n which can block the growth of cancer broccoli this is the cruciferous vegetable one of the best cancer fighting foods on the planet it's loaded with various substances that fight or inhibit a wide range of cancers including breast cancer skin cancer colon cancer rectal cancer and it does this in several different ways it promotes the production of certain enzymes that deactivate free radicals and carcinogens and enables the body to detoxify dangerous hormone metabolites and he doesn't say anything else, so I'm going to end it right there. Cabbage and cauliflower, which once again is a cruciferous vegetable. And this one says especially good for fighting breast cancer, converting, uh, converting cancer-promoting estrogens into a more productive type of hormone, a.e. conversion of estradiol into a beneficial 2-hydroxystrone versus a harmful 16-hydroxystrone. Okay, next one is going to be cocoa but of course this is the pure form of cocoa so 90 to 100 percent and this stuff doesn't taste as good it's bitter we've got to understand that these bitter foods are usually going to have very powerful effects on us so it just says uh, cocoa has a f phenomenal oxygen radical absorbance capacity o-r-a-c so maybe that's something you want to look up o-r-a-c and uh, i'll say that again oxygen radical absorbance capacity maybe there are a lot of other foods that have this great benefit but once again it's pure cocoa the cocoa that doesn't taste good i have some i put in my shakes it is not good at tasting um, it's okay for a, fla a, a flavoring agent but it doesn't taste the great the greatest dark leafy greens besides the incredible levels of vitamins and minerals and fiber dark leafy greens like collard greens Escarole, kale, mustard greens, romaine, lettuce, and Swiss chard are high in carotenoids and antioxidants which inhibit the growth of certain types of breast cancer cells. Greens also high in phytochemicals which boost enzymes that detoxify carcinogens and help repair DNA. That's what we've got to understand when we damage DNA. Unfortunately, when the cell starts to reproduce, now it's just reproducing another broken DNA strand. So now you're just reproducing broken DNA strand after broken DNA strand. Organic animal products. This one's very simple. You know, when we start to feed these cattle and, and chickens and things like that grain, they're not used to eating grain. They graze on vegetation, right? So now that you're feeding them grain, they themselves are becoming sick, right? They feed them grain because it fattens them up, but you don't want to get fat. Fat, of course, is tastier, but unfortunately, it is causing these animals to be sick. So, 
you know, in relative terms, you're eating a sick animal. And when they eat grass, these now have higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids, and then of course, CLA and vitamin D, which clearly play a big part in breast cancer, grass-fed, yep, the CLA, which is known as a powerful cancer-fighting agent. Next is curcumin. This power pack spice found in curry powder and turmeric contains compounds that protect against breast cancer and tumor growth. Simply add this to your soups, spreads, smoothies, and salads. Flaxseed. Once again, this is going to be increasing your omega-3s. It says in a 2005 clinical cancer research published a placebo control study involving patients who received 25 grams of flaxseed containing muffins over the course of a 32-day experiment after observing the reduction of tumors, tumor markers and an increase in programmed cell death in the flaxseed-treated patients. Carrots, high in beta carotene, carrot fights many forms of cancer including stomach, lung, intestinal, bladder, prostate, breast, throat, and mouth. It's better to eat them raw rather than cook and in moderation due to high sugar content. Mushrooms, this is a big one. Medicinal mushrooms are the big talk right now or at least for you know the last year or so. Many varieties such as Versicolor, Coralus, Morel, Agaric Agaricus, Blaze, Rishi, Mayatak, Shiitake contain powerful immune boosting polysaccharides such as beta glucan, which is which can enhance the killer, the natural killer cell count and activity in such a way that directly inhibits cancer peripheration. This category has been extensively researched and there are human clinical studies publishing peer review reviews. Seaweed once again contains beta carotene as well as cancer fighting carotenoids fuc fuc xanthin and is high in other key nutrients and the value uh, great value to the immune system organic or fermented soy this is another one I've heard men try to stay away from soy or have been told to stay away from soy because it has that estrogen effect but once it, if it's organic that's even better and then of course I've heard when it becomes fermented, then the estrogen effect is almost completely gone. But once again, that was when I was doing my own research, so you can't hold me to that one. Despite mainstream misconceptions, soy is not bad for your health if it is organic and especially when fermented. And then, of course, we just all know in Asia, their life expectancy is way higher and they are consuming a lot more of this. Tomatoes, anti-cancer superfood containing... Uh, Lycopin and is high in antioxidants that attack cancer and free radicals in the body. Lycopin is known to kill mouth cancer cells and is linked to reduce breast cancer, prostate, pancreas, and colorectal cancer. It's actually more effective cooked than raw. Okay, avocados high in antioxidants. Uh, this says it is helpful for treating viral hepatitis and which causes liver cancer as well as other types of liver damage. Citrus fruits including grapefruit, oranges, lemons help to remove carcinogens from the body preventing various cancers. This may stimulate this may also stimulate cancer killing immune cells. They're high in vitamin C and beta carotene. Berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries prevent the cancer of the skin, bladder, lung, breast largely because of their elegic acid. High in antioxidants, blueberries are the most powerful known in science. Nuts, high in antioxidant, Brazil nuts in particular, help against prostate cancer because of the high bioavailable and therapeutic form of selenium. Which once again, selenium, this is why a lot of people will go with sea salt because it has more vitamins and minerals. Of course, selenium being one of them. So there you go. Then it just talks about, you know, you want a quality multivitamin. You want um, a quality vitamin D. And of course, the essential fatty acids, which are going to be omega-3s usually. And then of course, you know, we need to make sure our ratio of three omega-3, sixes and nines are proper. I haven't done as much research on that. When I do, I will come out with a video on that. 
So we've just got to make sure our balance is correct. But once again, I hope that helps. Green tea, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, cocoa, dark leafy greens, organic animal products, curcumin, flaxseed, carrots, mushrooms, seaweed, organic or fermented soy, tomatoes, avocado, citrus, fruit, berries, and nuts. Add those to your diet. Become a cancer-fighting machine. So once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to visit us on social media. True Results 303. No E in that. True. Don't let autocorrect. Get your Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. The podcast is out there. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.